Hey there, Sage from Tiny Home Tours here. Just wanted to take a minute to thank you guys for watching our videos and to let you know that the sponsor for this video is Airbnb. Please enjoy this tour of a beautiful, unique tiny home. Hi, my name is Bob Bloss. This is Playhouse and we're in Brown County, Indiana. Come on in. kitchen area as you can see. Kind of the overriding philosophy I guess on this whole place was high quality, good aesthetic, not overly done, um, but just really good components. Uh, all the like glassware and cookware, everything is pretty top notch. Um, the aesthetic, you know, the countertop is actually oversized like uh, 24 inch tiles that they sort of cut together. Really kind of strived to um, create something here that is different than anything else in the Brown County area. Most of it is kind of rustic log cabin stuff and I just wanted to kind of go a whole nother way. Some small appliances, nice whirlpool stainless type of a refrigerator, uh, stainless sink, cutlery, all the kind of stuff you need, tea kettle, hidden dishwasher there, uh, 24 inch wide and a kind of a slim uh, range. And again, just kind of everything you could want. Had the good fortune of uh, having uh, kind of a friend uh, that's actually a fine cabinet maker and also fine furniture maker, but more on the modern side of things. And I wanted open shelving because again, I wanted to, to really showcase the, you know, the, the dinnerware and the glasses and that sort of thing and be able to sort of light it. And so um, the aesthetic is plywood throughout. So we wanted to you know, show the plywood edge and that sort of thing with the fabricated metal. But all of it, again, from an experiential uh, level, something that's just really aesthetically pleasing. And that's really kind of one of the big drivers in this whole uh, little house. I'm really big on uh, supporting local business. So like olive oil is from the wild olive in town. Um, I get some of the spices and things from the Nashville Spice Shop, but try and support and uh, make sure that, again, everything is sort of elevated in quality. I have another business. My day job is I'm self-employed as a graphic design brand guy. What I don't want to do is have a, you know, a, a complicated additional business. So. I chose Airbnb and again, I live in an area where there are a ton of people that do this. This is a tourist destination area and I got lots of friends in it and, and it's a wide variety. Some people market themselves, have their own website. I didn't want to do any of that. I really wanted kind of a turnkey solution, you know, transactionally, I don't want to mess around. I, I like the fact that transaction, if there's some sort of cancellation, that sort of thing, I don't have to mess with it. Um, the marketing aspect of Airbnb really appealed to me because of just the footprint of it. I do Instagram, Facebook, but it's not, it's almost not necessary because it just, it's just the calendar continues to book up. Anyway, um, I just like it for the simplicity and the kind of the turnkey aspect of it. Kind of the whole experience here is it's a, a kind of a mixture of kind of my different passions one of which and i think i got it from my mom she has had uh, such a desire for people to have a good time and that's sort of the way i feel is everybody that comes here my main goal truly is that they have a great time and part of that is just making sure it's a good experience and i try and differentiate with, you know, I got kind of the spread of things that I put out and it's sort of grown over the course of time. And one of my passions and kind of my, my vocation is uh, design, graphic design, brand development kind of stuff. So I kind of took that and used that forte to, you know, kind of augment the whole experience. So I have a welcome book and if you go uh, kind of reading through it, it's very much in my own voice. It's kind of a one take stream of consciousness. Uh, got some recommendations, that sort of thing. A couple of business cards also have a um, kind of a, uh, as you leave, a your input card. I'm very interested to know 
good, bad, or otherwise, what people's experiences are like. In the back of the book, there's a section where you can kind of write down all of your experiences, where you went, and that sort of thing. Supply a uh, Polaroid camera for use and some film, and then some takeaways with little hang tags to talk about just, you know, enjoying yourself and then taking those things home just to remember your experience. Got some real plants. I think the light's sort of this modern, eclectic sort of a vibe is really what I was trying to get. So we're in the living room area and um, I wanna make sure and mention, uh, you know, the whole vision of this place uh, started with finding an architect that I really loved their aesthetic and, and they had a real uh, penchant towards the kind of vibe and, and modern feel that I was looking for. A guy named Brian um, out of uh, Fountain Square Neon Architecture. Put his heart and soul into this. A lot of details that I think are pretty cool and I'll point out some of that stuff. A lot of the furniture, uh, again, modern. Table here, the couch actually folds out into a bed if necessary. Debated big time on whether or not to even have a TV in here because I thought, okay, are people coming to watch TV or what? Glad I did it because, you know, people enjoy the out of doors. Nashville, Indiana, Brown County is, is really known as an outdoor adventure kind of place. Um, Brown County State Park, 16,000 acres. People mountain bike, hike, all that. They come home, they want to relax. So I've got uh, streaming services like Netflix, that sort of thing. Um, also, again, kind of little details, but again, it's kind of about the experience. We've got this JBL speaker that just rocks. Uh, great bass, it's Bluetooth. Again, gotten a lot of comments, people love it. I think it's worth noting the walls are done in plywood. And again, my architect was so passionate. This was all supposed to be drywall. And the architect about, you know, midway through the process, he's like, hey, I think we ought to do plywood walls. Are you up for that? And I'm like, you know, is it gonna cost me an arm and a leg? And other than that, it was like, you know, pretty much wash. So we decided to do it. Got a great craftsman, Lauren Bohol is his name. And uh, the fits are beautiful. I think the aesthetic, it's, it's warm uh, like a cabin, but it's also modern and clean, which I love. As I kind of explored the property uh, when I was kind of getting used to it, I came up here often and it's kind of the top of the hill on my property and I, I remember just looking out and kind of seeing the view and thinking, what a great place uh, to put kind of a tourist, tourist rental kind of a home and make it kind of something special. So that was kind of the original uh, thinking was it was really about the location to begin with and then I kind of started to formulate the idea of, you know, just try to carve out my own sort of niche and make it really kind of modern and clean and that sort of thing. So that was the general thought process. But it really was sort of like this dream to create something really just kind of cool that I loved and that I knew other people would really just enjoy. So, Opted to go with the barn door uh, idea, but a little bit, again, different, more modern take on it. It's very kind of simple, clean. The craftsmen that worked on this particular job were very into, you know, the building of these things in a quality way. So this is several layers of um, plywood with a little kind of a simple detail for the hand uh, to open it up and there we have it and come on into the bedroom so we're in one of the bedrooms and the bedrooms are essentially uh, the same just oriented different ways there's like a laundry basket which again seems sort of perfunctory but when you know you think in terms of the function of the way people you know kind of live when you go to a, a hotel or what have you and you've got a, a a suitcase and it's like you got half of it where you put your dirty stuff and we wanted a place where people could just kind of stick their, their dirty stuff as well as hang things, extra blankets and pillows. Again, the whole kind of look and feel. We got books, uh, just kind of a variety of 
different types of uh, both fiction, nonfiction, just things of, of interest. Tried to make sure, um, I did a lot of research on the bed. Ended up, the mattress, it's tufted and needle. Uh, super comfortable and really reasonably priced. Most of the furniture and things, again, come from All Modern in here. Uh, the bed itself is, is tufted and needle. And then for climate control and all that, we have remotes that uh, work with the splits so that you can kind of modify the temperature to whatever you would want. So here we are in the bathroom, starting with the shower. Love the subway tile, it's gloss black, set corner to corner, which I love. Um, very roomy, uh, got shampoo and body wash in there and places to put things. Uh, just the glass door, everything again, kind of clean and modern looking. The cantilevered uh, butcher block was again, the architect's idea. I love the aesthetics, kind of floats with the vessel sink. And again, kind of uh, European looking, you know, faucet. Everything kind of works in concert, which I love. The color of the wall. Originally, I was kind of like, eh, I don't know about it. And uh, everybody loves it. And uh, it's really grown on me. It's a real dark kind of a green, but it, it works. So um, everything kind of works together and uh, makes just for a, a functional experience in a bathroom. So kind of a necessary thing, especially in light of the fact that in Brown County, it is a lot about hiking and getting outdoors and going to town. And so I wanted to ensure that people had a place, you know, essentially a mud room to kind of come back, clean up, utility sink, bench, and just kind of storage, you know, a washer dryer, kind of a necessary thing, nice to have, come back and clean up. Again, just trying to make the experience a really positive one. It's been one of those things where this whole experience, it's been extremely rewarding and I've really, really enjoyed, you know, I feel like I found a passion. I love hosting. I love uh, meeting people. I love talking to the people that come here, learning their stories. I just totally dig that. I like creating the experience and I think that's, that's something that I really believe can differentiate you. It's one thing to kind of like, hey, make sure there's clean sheets and all that kind of stuff. To me, it's very much about every aspect, you know, the soap that I buy is, is not the cheapest. It's what I like and it's what I think people will like. So the thought then is, you know, should I do another one? And I kind of mapped it out in my head. Uh, I definitely want to do at least one more. Again, something that's different. I'm thinking maybe a frame type of thing. I want to build something again, something unique, something that's well thought through and that people will just kind of like go, wow, that's, I want to stay there. Here we are kind of in the living, overall living area. Wanted to use different types of materials, things that kind of complemented each other. Uh, the floor is basically, it's a black slate tile, again, set corner to corner uh, with a kind of a dark gray grout. Um, I think it juxtaposes really nicely with the wood of the floor and also kind of one of the, the main uh, draws uh, aesthetically to this whole place is this wall. In fact, when we were developing out this idea with the architect, their sort of working name was of this whole place was the wall cabin. And the idea was there's this big uh, plane, which is a wall made of concrete block and both the living area as well as the, the bedrooms basically tie into the wall and cantilever off and they're basically set on piers. So this, this wall in the middle, everything sort of, it's kind of the hub of the whole house, it ties into the ground. Also love the aesthetic of the, um, just the bare concrete block. Uh, I think it ha adds a nice, again, kind of a contrast to some of the other materials. Interestingly, Diamond Tool and Die Company, it's like, what is that? It's actually sort of a sentimental thing to me. My grandfather was a German immigrant, came, uh, came over in 1922 from Germany. He started in 1947, Diamond Tool and Die. And this was the sign that was over the main entrance of Diamond Tool and Die in Dayton, Ohio. And it went out of business maybe 15 years or so ago. 
And um, I said, I want the sign. I love the typography and uh, it's very period. And um, so I've been dragging this sign around with me everywhere I've moved for about the last 15 years, not knowing what in the world I was ever gonna do with it. And then it just kind of works. And uh, I love the aesthetic and how it works in. And it's part of me. And that's kind of an important thing to me. I wanted kind of a, a nice outdoor living space. Um, part of the whole idea was that this, it sort of sits up on piers. Um, looking over this uh, railing is probably about a 10 foot drop, but I love how it kind of goes out and looks at the, the forest. Sit here and kind of drink your coffee, wine, that sort of thing. Um, I've gotten lots of feedback from folks who are like, you know, coffee in the morning out on the balcony is awesome kind of thing. And frankly, uh, you sit here and all of a sudden some deer will come walking across. Um, had, had a family here, a couple of little girls sitting in, inside and looked out the window and there was a deer looking right in at them. So part of the, uh, the beauty of this is the tranquility and the peace. And that's the experience of being kind of out on this balcony, which again, I love because it's like you're up in the trees. Hey, I want to thank you for watching my video. If you want to find me on Airbnb, the title is Modern Home in the Woods. So again, thanks for watching and hope to see you in Brown County at Playhouse sometime soon.